courts around the world are embracing automation. It promises increased efficiency and productivity. Automated cranes and vehicles move cargo faster than ever before. But there's a dark side to this progress. Workers are at risk. Automated systems can malfunction. Safety concerns are mounting. Automation is outpacing safety measures. We must balance progress with protection. Tragedy struck the Port of Los Angeles in 2021. A worker was crushed by an automated straddle carrier. These massive machines move containers around the port, but something went terribly wrong that day. A life was lost. This wasn't an isolated incident. In 2019, a similar accident occurred in Rotterdam. An automated guided vehicle collided with a worker. Human lives are paying the price for their imperfections. These stories are just the tip of the iceberg. We're introducing complex systems without fully understanding the risks. Dr. Emily Chen, a leading expert in industrial safety, is deeply concerned. She warns that port automation is moving too fast. I believe we're creating a perfect storm for accidents. These machines are unpredictable. Workers aren't given enough training to deal with them. Union leader Mike Johnson agrees. He's been fighting for worker safety for decades. More lives will be lost if things don't change soon. Robotics engineer Dr. Sarah Lee offers a balanced perspective. She acknowledges the benefits of automation. We need fail-safe systems, and we need to involve workers in the design process. The consensus among experts is clear. Port automation needs a serious safety overhaul. They call for more research, better training, and stricter regulations. Without these changes, the human cost of automation will continue to rise. The numbers don't lie, statistical evidence. The statistics paint a grim picture. A 2022 study by the International Labor Organization is alarming. It shows a 30% increase in port accidents since 2015. This coincides with the rise of automation. The correlation is hard to ignore. In automated ports, the risk of fatal accidents is one and a half times higher compared to traditional ports. The ILO report attributes this to a lack of proper safety protocols and insufficient training for workers dealing with automated systems. The financial cost is staggering too. Port accidents cost the industry billions each year. In 2021 alone, the figure reached $5.2 billion globally. This includes medical expenses, compensation, and lost productivity, but no amount of money can compensate for a lost life. Perhaps most troubling is the underreporting of incidents. Experts estimate that only 60% of accidents are officially recorded. This means the true scale of the problem could be much larger. We're dealing with a crisis that's partially hidden from view. Safety first, the critical need for training. Training is the frontline defense against automation risks. Workers need to understand these complex systems they must know how to interact with them safely. But current training programs are falling short. Many ports offer only basic instruction. Workers are thrust into automated environments with minimal preparation. They're expected to adapt on the fly. This approach is dangerous and irresponsible. It's setting workers up for failure and possibly worse. Comprehensive training programs are essential. They should cover normal operations and emergencies. Workers need to know what to do when systems malfunction. They should be able to override automated processes if necessary. This knowledge could mean the difference between life and death. Ongoing training is equally important. Technology is constantly evolving. Workers need regular updates to stay current. Refresher courses should be mandatory. 
safety drills should be frequent and realistic. Only then can we hope to reduce the risks of automation. Bridging the gap, enhancing safety protocols. Safety protocols in automated ports are lagging behind. They haven't kept pace with technological advancements. This gap is where accidents happen. It's where lives are lost. We need to bridge this gap urgently. New safety standards must be developed. They should be specific to automated port environments. Generic industrial safety guidelines aren't enough. We need rules that address the unique challenges of working alongside robots and AI. Technology itself can be part of the solution. Advanced sensors can create safety zones around automated equipment. AI can predict potential accidents before they happen, but these tools must be properly implemented and maintained. They're not a substitute for human vigilance. Collaboration is key to enhancing safety protocols. Port authorities, unions, and tech companies must work together. They need to share knowledge and best practices. Regular safety audits should be conducted by independent experts. Transparency and accountability are crucial. A call to action, prioritizing lives over profits. The time for action is now. We can't wait for more tragedies to occur. Every stakeholder in the port industry must step up. Safety must become the top priority, not profits, not efficiency, human lives. Port authorities need to invest heavily in safety measures. This includes upgrading equipment, improving training and enhancing protocols. It may cost more upfront, but it will save money and more importantly, lives in the long run. Governments must play their part too. Stricter regulations are needed. They should mandate comprehensive safety standards for automated ports. Regular inspections should be enforced. Penalties for violations should be severe. As for us, the public, we have a role to play. We need to raise awareness about this issue. Support the workers fighting for their safety. Demand action from our elected officials. Remember, the goods we consume pass through these ports. We're all connected to this problem and we all have a stake in its solution. I'm Lee Dominic and thank you for watching Pace of the Waterfront. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.